Howdy friends, fellow beer geeks. I'm Wes, the Craft Beer Geek, and tonight I have another beer for you from Samuel Smith's Brewing out of Tadcaster, England. This is their Nut Brown Ale. Comes in this uh, 550 milliliter bottle. And I got this in a gift pack with two other beers and this uh, pint glass here uh, for about $11. So that kind of gives you an idea of the prices on these had this many times in the past. It's been quite a while since I've had it, so I thought I'd you know, grab this gift pack and sort of revisit these beers and see what I thought of them. So this is the next one in line. Uh, so let's just go ahead and see what it is all about. As usual, it doesn't list any kind of ABV on the bottle here, so I'll have to uh, look that up later and put in a, an annotation on that. Uh, but this is just a very traditional English brown ale. Okay, so this pours out a very light brown color. You uh, can definitely see some shapes and whatnot through the glass. Very clear, good strong bit of carbonation. There is a nucleation point at the bottom of this glass, so it's extra active as far as the carbonation goes. A very strong, you know, three, four finger head here. Uh, let's see what the aroma is like on this one. I get a very light toasted wheat bread aroma on this, very sweet and malty, uh, with just a very light amount of caramelization there. Uh, maybe just a slight hint of vanilla in there as well. I'm ready to go ahead and give this a taste, let you know what I think, so here we go, cheers. It's, it's a really interesting uh, flavor profile. It, does have sort of a, a caramel sort of flavor, but also that you get a lot of that wheat bread sort of flavor there. It's I, almost like you're chewing a piece of barley. It has a, that very fresh grain, uh, almost like an oatmeal sort of you know flavor, like a, a you know a steel cut oat kind of flavor. Breakfast you know cereal mouthfeel is very light on this one lighter than you would expect for a brown ale. It definitely has has a pretty light mouthfeel to it. Very refreshing, very flavorful. It definitely has sort of a, a nuttiness, but like a, almost more of like a seed, like a sunflower seed kind of uh, presence to it. Sunflower seed kind of nuttiness or some kind of other, I'm trying to think of other kind of smaller seed-like, nut-like kind of um, things that are sort of in that vein, the closest, uh, like I said, it's a lot like a, a sort of a sunflower seed sort of nuttiness to it is what I'm getting. It does finish with a nice uh, hoppy bitterness to it. Uh, not real bitter, but just to, just in the right amount of bitterness to sort of give it a nice dry finish. As I'm getting down near the bottom, I'm also getting almost like an earthy, yeasty sort of note to it. Peaty, earthy sort of aroma. So for my final thoughts on the Nut Brown Ale from Sam Smith's Brewing, uh, really interesting brown ale, different from a lot of the other brown ales you're going to get. It's very English, very traditional. As I said, you get sort of that slightly toasted, caramelized sort of wheat bread flavor, a, a little bit of a sunflower seed flavor, uh, a light body for a what you would expect to get from a brown ale. Uh, and a nice hoppy finish. So all around this is an interesting beer, enjoyable beer, definitely one I can recommend. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to give the Sam Smith's Nut Brown Ale a 7 out of 10 enjoyable beer. Thank you for watching another episode of the Craft Beer Geek. If you like the show, you can find lots more episodes over at craftbeergeek.com. And if you're going to be doing some Amazon shopping in the future and feel like uh, supporting the show, please use the Amazon link in the show notes below on YouTube or on the right-hand side of the page of craftbeergeek.com. Uh, we'll get a small commission from anything you buy, and it's completely anonymous, so no worries there. Thank you for that in advance. And just want to leave you with this. Please drink responsibly, and remember, I don't drink bad beer. You shouldn't either. See you next time. Cheers.